What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today, we're talking about the Town Hall 9 Witch Slap attack that was used a lot during the Content Creator War. The Content Creator War was a 50 versus 50, where all the top YouTube and Twitch channels came together to put on a huge war that we had some big giveaways for as well, giving 2,000 gems away every stream of the war, and there were tons of streams going on. So. Uh, we also gave away 100,000 gems to the winning team. So that was all sponsored by Supercell. So shout out to Supercell for hooking us up with this big event. And we will actually, here's all the content kind of creators that were involved, but let's go check out the results of this war and check out the different variations on how people were using the Witch Slap to bring down 13 of the 22 Town Hall 9 bases. So let's go check it out. All right, so as you can see, we won this war, and we won 137, 135 Bash and Barbs. The team leader there was Clash Bashing, and then the other team leader was Carbon Fin. So shout out to you guys for putting on this event. It was a lot of fun, but let's get into some attacks here. We have a first Witch Slap attack here. This is your most standard layout for the Witch Slap attack. So we like to use two golems. And sometimes I'll bring in three golems and drop a few wizards, but he likes to use two golems here with two jumps and then a line of witches down behind them with heroes coming down to go into the core of the base there. And then the bowlers come out of the CC. Bowlers are your ideal uh, CC for this, but you can use uh, Valkyries as a good option as well if you don't have access to bowlers. But let's punch into the base here, see how they can work their way in. That level two jump spell is essential to give that jump a 40 second timer so that everything has enough time to get in. I like to make so the jump is a little bit delayed so that the troops on the outside can clear all the trash buildings before everything reaches the walls, then have the jump standing by ready to go in here. And we have a nice push in the base here. The lower level poison clears out the, the clan castle troops can usually deal with most of them. The witches, between the witches, the queen, and the wizards and that low level poison just slowing down their attacks and clearing out some of the smaller troops you can definitely punch into the base and clear out that cc no problem almost no matter what it is and we will clear out the backside of this base no problem look how far they push through we have a skeleton trap that helped deal with one of the expos but i'll show you how to do a little bit more with those skeleton or skeleton spells i mean not skeleton trap and we have a tesla farm popping on the far side there they're going to wrap around no problem the witches they don't need a lot of spell support. So we bring a rage and a heal, and mostly we're just concerned about getting them through the base because they stall up and they get separated if you don't have access to the base. So if you have really open base designs, then this absolutely crushes the bases. But in this one, we just bring a few jumps and we can create the base into an open format by just making jumps. So we clear out the backside of the base. Swag queen ability in this one as they clear out and work their way over to this last corner hut. And that's a three star right there. And we'll go jump out and check out a couple more different variations where we start to add in healers and swap out golems for different situations. All right, let's check out this one here. This one, he uses uh, five healers and only three of them are going to the queen here which is going to walk one of the flanks here the other side of the flank is going to be used with two healers which is usually the minimum that you want to send with witches and they can punch in and deal with other ones all the witches down at the bottom are piled in a stack so the healers stay with them as they work into the base and then we have the golem coming down in the middle when you bring all those healers you don't have enough space to bring multiple golems so you just bring that one out in front there this time he's going to send that king and the bowlers into the base here the queen is going to walk and join up with the, actually, I think he wanted the queen to walk this top edge here. He had the queen ability set aside there to get the queen through the enemy queen, but she decides that she doesn't want to go that way and she enters the base anyway. Not a big deal, but it was still a good plan up there because this air defense on the top side would have been able to be reached over the walls from the corner by the bomb tower and still reach into the base there. He brings a jump to get him everything into the base there. The golem out in front, he's going to get assaulted up a little bit by some ice golems come out of the enemy CC there, but the healers are having no problem keeping everything up. He pops that queen ability to keep her alive since he was taking some heavy damage there. Another jump to get into the core of the base here. And the king is working on the outside now as he ended up leaving the base with the golem. And they're actually on the outside clearing out while the queen is working her way through the inside. So this attack in general is a bit spammy. It is kind of a, a planning out where you can put safe queens or safe uh, healers. 
to work their way through the base. And as long as those healers stay alive, then you can generally triple and they just keep on moving. And since the witches don't need a lot of spell support, you're using all your spells to support the internal group to push those bowlers mainly through the group. Those max bowlers are very, very powerful and they are the main push. But like I said, you can use other CCs, but they're not going to have the same effect as bowlers, but they can still work. And as you see with the king's going to wrap around the top of the base there, clear that out. The queen's going to rejoin with everything there and they're all going to move into last little bit. So nice hit and I believe a six pack by Sir Wars here. So let's go check out a different variation where we send the heroes in and healers on the side and we'll see how they do that. All right, in this variation, we're using two healers on each side group with witches on the flanks. And then we're gonna push the heroes into the middle. We don't have a golem in this one, and he only has a level 12 king and a level 15 queen going against a completely maxed out base with a 27 level queen and king. So he's got his work cut out for him in this one. He's gonna use the witches on the flanks there with the healers and Notice that these wizards come down in the in between the side groups and the main group going into the middle to kind of separate them. So those uh those go or the skeletons got out in front and did a little bit of tanking, and then the, the the wizards came down to clear the trash and keep everything separated so they aren't just kind of mashing all together. That keeps the witches from splitting apart in the side groups and keeps them in little pockets so they can actually push in here. The witches can reach over the wall and take out this air defense so their healers will stay safe. The other side doesn't have an air defense so they reach all the way in here, but the main group is going to have no problem reaching that before. So whenever you use healers, like I said, you want to make sure that you keep those healers safe and you're going to be able to punch really far into the base here. And with those low level heroes, he's not going to clear out a ton of the center of the base there. So he's really relying on his flanks to clean up wherever the heroes fall short. He's going to have to pop his queen ability fairly soon here. There it is. And that's going to punch her through the town hall. But uh, that's not going to be a big deal. He has a lot of the defenses cleared. The base of the core was gutted by that main group that went inside. And the side groups are going to have no problem clearing out the rest of the base here with those healers still intact because he watched the air defenses and was able to clear out the whole base without a problem. Just a little builder hut on the top side there. But we'll fast forward to here because these witches have absolutely crushed this base and they have no problem finishing it out even without those max heroes. So there we go, guys. Oraku Sanu, or Saki, I mean, <laughs> brings in the triple on that one. And we'll go check out one more. And then I'm going to do a live attack over in Double Barrel for you guys. And we'll see if I can bring in hopefully a six pack, but I'm just going to show one of them today. All right, we'll show this last one here, and then we'll go hit the live attack. So this one, he's just using two golems and 12 witches with two jumps. This is the most standard list that I like to run. He brought two poison spells here. I like to just bring the one poison spell and the uh, skeleton spell, but he's going to have no problem pushing in here. Make sure that when you put those golems down, you have good anchor points that are spread apart. If they go to the same point, then they're not going to get as much value. You might end up having them split off from where the witches are going. So he's just going to use a jump that's going to get him into the base here. That opens up access to the expo here, which the queen can actually reach over the walls there. So a little bit of a base building flaw there. Mr. The queen has no problem taking that down. Poison comes down to deal with the CC, and he uses the max level poison. He has the other poison, and I'm not sure what he's going to use it for. I don't think there's a lot of use for it after the CC goes down, unless like an E-Drag comes out and you just want a little extra punch to get through it. But usually witches have no problem dealing with E-Drags in the CC. And we actually have no problem dealing with Hounds in the CC either because it uh, they, the witches can target it and help clean it up. So we punch in no problem here. We're getting another jump somewhere. Where did the jump go? Oh, the jump, uh, the second jump was the axis. They were kind of overlapping from the outside and then the inside to get them into the core of the base there. So two jumps. Be a little bit uh, conservative with your jumps. Make sure you have access because if the witches separate from their skeletons, then they start being able to get targeted. So you need to have paths to get those skeletons to keep them out in front and keep that golem moving through the base. So the queen's going to pop her ability, work her way into the last few defenses here. Huge swarm of which is coming around the bottom side. King broke out to the outside with a couple wizards and a bowler and the golem as well. So they will have no problem clearing out the last few defenses. And we bring in a three star there with a swag poison. Like I said, maybe that poison could have been changed out to a different spell there and got a little bit better effect, but three star nonetheless. So let's go do the live attack now and I'll plan one out. I'm gonna do the queen charge variation or queen walk variation, I mean, and we'll see if I can bring in a three star. 
All right, let's quickly go over my plan. Here's the base that I'm going to be attacking. So we have a fairly open base design here, so I'm not going to need a lot of jumps. That's going to free up some spells. And also, I want to actually look for a safe healer path through the base here. So I see here, I have their defenses here, 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 and here. So make note of them and make sure that you're not going to drag your healers if you decide to use them through an air defense. I am going to do a queen walk variation of this where I'm going to send my king on the outside of the base and my queen on the other side of the base and I'm going to send a golem down the middle. So we will push in. I think I'm going to do the queen walk right through here, have her start on the top side and work her way down into the base here. And I'll have the golem and witches come in here and I'll have the king wrapping around the outside and I'll jump here to get everything into the base. So we have no threat to my healers as the bowlers are going to quickly overwhelm this and the healers should be able to follow the queen right in there. The queen can quickly engage that uh, air defense if she needs to and in this air defense she can reach over the wall and engage head on. And I also want to make sure that I don't actually end up pulling the CC with my funneling troops or with the side groups. I want to have the CC engage to the main group that is pushing into the base, or I want to have the queen engage it with the queen walk and take it out in advance before the witches actually ever enter the base. So in this case, I I kind of want the, the main group to engage that uh, CC and I'll keep my queen a little bit further away. And you gotta be careful, especially if there's an E-drag in the CC, but you don't have a low level queen engage the E-drag because it will one shot your queen if she's level 18 or lower. And a little bit higher than that, it's still a lot of damage. At a, even a level 30 queen really struggles with that sometimes. So be careful with it. If the queen is gonna engage the, the an E-drag, make sure you pop her ability right away to, or before it actually shoots, it has to charge up. So watch the scales on its back. And as it charges up, you'll be able to pop your ability right before it shoots and make so that it has to recharge its stack. So let's go in here and attack this. And hopefully we don't fight an E-drag, but it'll be fine if we do. And any of the CC I think will be perfectly okay as well. So we'll just keep that queen away from the CC just in case. Let's go do this. All right, guys, we're ready to go live. Here is the base that we're attacking once again. I think we're ready to do this. Let's go live in three, two, one, we're in. All right, so we're gonna start it off. Walk this queen along the top side of the base there. Healer's down on her and let her work her way in. We'll use the king on the other side, couple witches down behind to support him. Golem in the middle, witches down and the bowlers down behind that. Let them work into the base there. We'll get that rage down. Uh, we wanna engage the CC I think first. Let's get the rage down as soon as they approach the CC range. And we'll punch those bowlers into the base. So it looks like my king just pulled the... So we do have an E-drag in the CC. We'll pop his ability. We'll get that poison down and deal with it. Queen's doing fine on the top side. Get a heal down and another rage while we engage that uh, CC. And there we go. Another rage in the middle there. And we should have no problem bringing down the CC. Those uh, skeletons distract that E-drag long enough. We just have... a. Uh, we're just coasting now. We just got to coast. We have a queen ability and a skeleton spell left to use. So we'll see where we can find a spot to use them. And I'm thinking we can just kind of chill for a minute and let the queen work her way around. Let the main group of witches is working over there at five o'clock, work its way through the enemy king there. No splash damage so they can completely overwhelm everything. The last splash damage on the base is that bomb tower and that wizard tower. So we'll see if we can use the skeleton spell to distract those as that main group of witches uh, approaches so that they can't take out my witches. They'll target the skeletons instead of my witches. So we'll get that skeleton spell down now and that will just distract their fire for a little while to get those witches in. So the queen is still wrapping around the top side there. The bomb tower is uh, about to go down. There it goes. We have the skeleton spell still active there, working through that uh, wizard tower. And it looks like it just wore off there, but the queen is now approached there, but there was just, granted, there's just enough time there that the witches can continue working through. And we got the triple with a swag queen ability. And that's a six pack for me this war actually. So very nice. All right, guys, with that six pack, we're gonna end up winning this war in addition to winning the content creator war where our team won 100,000 gems in addition to all the gems we gave away to the viewers. So if you want to get involved in events like that in the future, then come join my Discord. And when we announce events like that, then you will be the first to know and you'll be able to get onto our teams as well as uh, just be able to get general tips on our Discord from all the people that are joining there in addition to talking to myself directly. But 
that's gonna be it for today guys make sure you guys hit that like button and you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on these events in the future and i will see you guys in the next one